Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Hobbyworks Menace V2. Much like the Baja burner that we unboxed not long ago. They built one, they went, yeah it's pretty good. Then they went, we can do better. So they did a V2. They've done the same with this. Now, we've been doing a bit of a series of budget RCs. Something to get the beginners into, see if they like the hobby, see what they can do with it. Now, I took the Baja burner, I built the crap out of it. I took the mud digger, I built the crap out of that too. Now we've got this one. And I have to say, I'm very impressed so far. Very impressed. So impressed, I bought a mud digger for myself. But got a green. <clears throat> really good. So, we're going to be unboxing this. It'll be a real quick one. Unbox it, check it out, see what you get for your, your money. Not a lot of money, $225. It's not much. If you want to check out the Hobbyworks range, ding, hobbyhabit.com.au. Okay. So, let's quickly have a look at the front of the box here, and we'll see uh, what sort of details are on about said truck menace buggy. It's not a truck, it's a buggy. <clears throat> so, specifications. The length 395 millimeters, the width 250 millimeters, wheelbase 282 millimeters, gear ratio 1, 9, 1 to 9.2, rather, uh, ground clearance 30 millimeters. The motor is an RC540 brushed motor, which means you can send this through water. Uh, the battery. It comes with a nickel metal 7.2 2000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, this thing is a hundred percent ready to run. Let's go, boys. Comes with its own charger as well. True story. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio system, and then we've got the uh, 90 by 42 for the rear wheels and the 82 by 29 fronts. Okay. Looking across the front of the box, 110 scale, electric powered, ready to run. 2.4 gigahertz radio, painted body, spare parts available, hobby habit, you got all your spares that you need, waterproof, fantastic, the box is open, now, every time I've grabbed one of these trucks, to do a bit of a video, I've been grabbing some spare parts, and I've never needed them, not once, I haven't needed them, which is fantastic, because I've been I'll be doing this. And this. And a little of this. Haven't needed the parts. Fantastic. So. I need my scissors. Okay. So first things first. The radio. Okay. I swear I've done this before. I've got a sticker on my radio. Remnants of a sticker. Anyway, this radio is the same one that comes with the uh, the dealy, the mud digger. Decent radio. Doesn't have to do a whole lot. It's got a three channel switch on the side. Not sure what you'd use that for on this. You could put a light on it. Turn it off and on. Three channel, two channel. But, this three position helps when you flick the right switch. <clears throat> Comfortable radio, light, which is handy. If you want something that you can just pick up, take it with you easy, you don't have to stress about it. Bam. Full batteries. Have fun. Away you go. Nice grippy, grippy steerer. Wheel. <laughs> it's grippy. Okay. So that's good. They're actually pretty comfortable radio. It's quite surprised. Range is good too. The range is good. All right. Quick unboxing, like I said. I'm going to whip the truck straight out of the box. So, like I was saying, there she is. Check that out. What a beast. The menace. What I will do is I'll uh, insert some nice fancy camera angles as we're sitting here chatting right now. Oh, those shocks feel fantastic. I keep saying about the shocks in these trucks that they, they make. And buggies. 
<clears throat> the shocks feel fantastic, and they take a fair bit of crap. I've been sending these these uh, Hobbyworks RCs, and they take it a, a lot better than I thought they would, if I'm honest. For the money, it's a two hundred and twenty five dollar buggy. There she is, the buggy. Let's whip the body off. Have a quick look. I'll do another close up. I'll do another close up of the uh, the chassis and such, so you can see what you're really getting for your cash. Okay, okay. Three channel receiver, nice. With file safe, nice. Very handy. The servos that are in these, I, I've still not found out the strength of them, but I'm. I've not found myself going, oh, I wish it was better. Because honestly, they do a really good job and they're waterproof. Fantastic. It's a dim different chassis to the other ones that I've driven, which is good. I would assume, I'm guesstimating here, I would assume some of the parts may be, uh, may be swap outable with different, different vehicles of the Hobbyworks range. I could be wrong, but I'm assuming so we have the same style, uh, same style rear engine, uh, rear motor setup uh, as the other ones. Two wheel drive, massive wang, which is removable. So if you break it, two body posts, change her out. Easy, <laughs> very easy. Lovely stuff. I'm actually looking forward to, to giving this thing a spin. I've been getting back into my basher side with uh, the Hobbyworks range, and it's been plenty good fun, if I'm honest. Now, you'll notice this thing has a battery in it, okay? 2,000 milliamp hour nickel metal battery. That's one of those. Uh, waterproof ESC. Dean's plug. Okay, you're all ready to go. All ready to be sent like a buggy should be. Now, I will be taking this to my local track and to the beach because that's where I like to do this this stuff there we go front on first quite like that the body color um, I'll be taking it to my local track which is built for large scale but because I like to test these things and do it properly I'm gonna send this off for some large scale jumps I'm sure it'll be fine given how the other ones are performed I reckon they're going to be pretty sweet. Nice, knobbly tyres. Very grip-like. They did change the tyres in between V1 and 2. I believe they had more sand-style tyres on the original one. They've uh, changed it up to the knobbly-type tyres, which should give you plenty of grips on everything. So, the last parts of the box contents. Battery charger. Okay, we got a battery charger. We have our user manual read this especially if you're a beginner read it go through it familiarize yourself with the esc the radio etc this is a, a part in there i don't know what that's for but there's a part in there <laughs> if i read the manual it'll probably tell me so yeah charger manual buggy radio battery $225. I just don't get it. And it's not crap. <laughs> That's what amazes me. It's honestly not crap. So, hobbyhabit.com.au $225. You will not you will not find a better entry RC. I don't think anyway. So there you go. Quick unboxing. The the Hobbyworks RC Menace V2. Check it out. All the dubs dot hobby habit. Yeah. Uh, tell them I sent you. Don't know if it'll help you. But you can tell them anyway. Uh, stay tuned for the running video where I send it. Uh, and then stay extra tuned for uh, the review video on all three where we'll have images and clips and all that sort of stuff of all three of them in action and on the bench looking at all the stuff and I'll give you my honest opinion of all three of them and whether or not you should buy it. Spoiler alert, you should. 
Anyway, I do thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below. Drop a sub if you haven't already. Like the video. Dislike it if you don't like it. Let me know. Uh, we've got more coming up. But not just this stuff. I know you can't see it. <laughs> There's another unboxing coming. There's actually two. And Tamiya and a uh, RGT. Stay tuned for those. Smash the follows. Do all that fun. Follows? We're not on Twitch. Smash the, the subs. Like the video. Comments. Do all that fun stuff. Do take care. We'll see you in the next BCRC YouTube video.